So I recently picked up these Kin Flos pens. I'd never heard of them before and uh, saw them. They were recommended to me. So I figured I'd pick them up. They were on Amazon for about $9 for a 12 pack. So pretty cheap. It's always good to have a nice gel pen around. Here's the box. Here's what they look like. They come stacked. Again, there's 12 of them. The pen itself, uh, in the pictures, it looks really high quality. This tip right here, it looks like it's metal. So that got me interested. Uh, and then 12 for $9, you know, under a dollar each. Really not very risky of a purchase. Uh, when I got it, I was a little disappointed with the quality of them. First of all, this piece may look metal. It's not. It's plastic. Tip. I didn't expect it to be metal, and it's definitely not. The uh, grip here, which you can't really see in the pictures online, is actually really skinny. So I like the triangular shape. That's pleasant to hold, especially with your three fingers triangle. It works really nicely, but uh, it's too skinny for me. The entire body is a, a rubberized plastic. So uh, holding it is nice. There's a nice grip. It will get a little shiny if your hands are oily, but I haven't really found it to be a problem. I think the tip extends a little bit too far from the pen, which doesn't really affect the performance, but just on the aesthetic side, I think it's not ideal. As for a writing instrument, these uh, Kinflos pens, I think are pretty okay. So uh, I believe it's a 0.7 millimeter pen. They let down ink pretty well. I haven't been blown away with them, uh, but they're reliable and consistent. Uh, and you know, I've only had them for a couple days now, but none of them have worn out, obviously. I would not say these pens are anything to get too excited about. I was interested in an alternative player in the pen market, but the fact of the matter is that no one's gonna come along that you've never heard of and beat something like this Uniball Signo 207, which has been an awesome pen for years and years. Uh, and just the ink technology and the smoothness of the rollerball or the gel tip, whatever it is, is way better than this pen here. <clears throat> so this Kinflos was a interesting idea. I'm not sorry I bought it but I haven't really been impressed with them. I guess I should have known that someone wasn't gonna come along and have a great cheap pen that we never heard of before. Uh, and then I think the, like the font looks kinda of cheap and probably there should have been some signals here that this uh, pen wasn't gonna blow me away, but again, not terrible and they are cheap. So uh, maybe a nice office pen or if you just need to have some, and doctor's office or somewhere people sign in but uh, for personal use for the pen enthusiast I'd say it's fine but not great they are available on Amazon and they are pretty affordable but not going to take you away from a nice uniball or a solid pilot thanks for watching